Greetings, welcome to Amok News. I'm Aguana, and you're not. Our top story. Interim editor of A Moment of Service, Manly Matt Dow, has abdicated his responsibilities as host for Please Hold for Dave Sim, January 2022, and wrote Brian West, Twitter volunteer number one, to take Matt's place for, and the call from David Victor Sim. We go live to their conversation, already in progress. It's coming in January 2023, the remastered Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number 8 Kickstarter. Uh, coming in January 2022, like today, <laughs> pieces, pieces of Turtles 8, uh, my first fanzine in nearly 50 years. Uh, I had completely forgotten that Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number 8 is 45 freaking pages long. <laughs> I let Kevin off his leash. Fly and be free, little turtle. <laughs> no matter for it. And fly he did. It's so well written, you don't even notice how many pages you're reading, just that it's over too soon. But that poses a problem for Dagan's Waverly Press, Sean's Living the Line, and or Aardvark Anaheim whoever ends up doing the Kickstarter in January 2023. How much extra material can you get into a book that's already a minimum 45 pages long? So Pieces of Turtle Date is the planning stage for that. Uh, here's what I would include. Uh, with more Pieces of Turtle Date coming from AV in 2022, uh, first of all, this first one is successful, and second of all, as uh, I'm encountering stuff here at the Off White House, where I go, oh, I forgot I had that. That that would make a good uh, a good uh, pieces piece in a pieces of turtles eight. Um, it, it starts with the ultra rare ultra rare swordfish Canadian edition, 16 pages with gold foil cover for $25 Canadian uh, postage included. And it's going to be available for one week after the uh, January Please Hold for Dave Sim. This one that we're doing right now goes live on a moment of service. Uh, it'll be available only at cerebusdownloads.com. Uh, there will be two buttons there. Uh, buy one for $25 or buy 10 for $125, 50% off. Uh, first come, first serve. Uh, the earliest orders get the earliest sequential numbers. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to interrupt my own announcement here to say that uh, what I'm trying to do is, um, if you ask me who's the core readership, core service readership, at any given moment, it's the people uh, who are listening to Please Hold for Dave Sim uh, as soon after it gets posted as possible. And that lineup changes all the time depending on level of interest. Uh, we're going to get into that when we get into the actual question. But um, this is really the, the most uh, significant thing that I can offer to that core group is uh, pretty much guaranteed rarity. Uh, if you take the number of people that listen to Please Hold for Dave Sim over the course of uh, the month before the new one gets posted, uh, it's a lot more than the people who listen to it right at the beginning. Again, that's what makes the, makes the core audience. So it's okay. Uh, unfortunately, the people listening to this uh, three weeks from now uh, who said, uh, okay, I haven't listened to Please Hold for Dave Sim this month. I'll, I'll cue that up and listen to it while I'm doing the dishes or whatever. <laughs> and, uh, they, uh, uh, they're going to say, I missed it. Yes, <laughs> you missed it. It's, it's nothing against you. Right. It's in favor of the people who, uh, who are right there, um, uh, complete. Eager beavers, and yes, I am looking at you. 
Michael R. in Easton, Pennsylvania. <laughs> and uh, if if this only sells ten copies, that's great. Then uh, you you've got something even rarer than uh, than we could possibly imagine. If word gets out faster than we think it is, it's still gonna it's still gonna be pretty rare. Uh, okay, so getting to uh, the next question that everybody's going to be asking. If you have a service archive number, you will automatically get a the earliest sequential number available based on when you ordered. In other words, if you're the first person that listens to this announcement and goes to servicedownloads.com and orders one of these, uh, then you'll be getting number one. Uh, but if you've got a service archive number, then your service archive number will be on the next line down. So you'll get number one of however many there are. And if it's uh, Rich L in Peoria and he wants one of these, uh, he gets 153 um, on the next line down. And autograph. Now, I got this. I got this far with it, and then started uh, faxing, uh, faxing Eddie Cotton. And I went, "Here's a brilliant idea. What about if uh, the people who are ordering, when you type in your name uh, on the servicedownloads.com order, and you want your service archive number after it, uh, or, or on the comic book?" Uh, Type your service archive number right after your name. Do you think that would work? I I don't know. I mean, um, I think so. I mean, I know at, at my at my work they there's this, all this all these software that um, the admissions uses to like track like the people who buy tickets and whatnot, and it's right. like down to like the 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 molecule in terms of detail. So I mean, if if whoever is pro doing the page web page for servicedownloads.com dot com um, decides to maybe add a button with with putting in your your um, can number um, or or your or your sequential number, I mean that that seems pretty easy to do, I would think. Or even just doing what you just suggested, just entering in your name and then uh, a comma and then your uh, can number or your sequential number. Um, I think either way would work. Yeah, I mean it's. It's not like service downloads is like your workplace. It doesn't have an extensive list of uh, this is an approved person. It's like anybody with a Visa card, we're fine with it. Uh, <laughs> if you want to, you want to tell me your name is uh, Rich Logs One Fifty Three. Uh, I don't know. Maybe you're one of Elon Musk's uh, uh, illegitimate children or something like that. <laughs> That's why you've got a One Fifty Three in your name. We, we don't really care. All we care. Is that, uh, is that your visa clear? Right, right. Uh, the, the checks, the checks in the mail, and 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 it's been paid. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, fast and carried, and just next. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Eddie is still per, uh, pushing for. Um, if you want, uh, 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 one of the other things that we got into was, do you want uh, the pieces of Turtles Eight uh, signed? Um, and hand numbered, or do you not want it signed or hand numbered? We got into this with uh, Spawn Ten, I think, if I remember, the Halloween edition, maybe. Yes, yes. Where it was, well, you know, if you go and get it created by CGC, uh, it's not, it's not a signature series because it wasn't witnessed, so it's just going to be writing on cover. Mm -hmm. uh, so at that point. It was, I'd say a good half of the people that got the Halloween edition said, uh, no, don't write anything on there. I'd appreciate, you know, it being personalized and autographed and everything, but I would rather be, it be a mint condition copy. Mm. So I think what we're going to do, um, it's, uh, Eddie's email address is Eddie, uh, Eddie, F D O A R. All, all one word, lowercase, at gmail.com. So, but we'll, we'll have as the default setting that you get the lowest number that you, or that, uh, you qualify for, 
and your CAN number and autograph. Mm. And if on anything besides that, then you email Eddie Kahn. Yes. I, I got to make this complicated, and I think we're failing already, right? No, I, I think I think we're okay. I mean, All right. I mean, if I my job, it's it's kind of just organized chaos. There are all these details that my coworkers keep track of, like email addresses, phone numbers, names, um, amount paid. Uh, just it just it just blows my mind. So this is I think we're fine, in my opinion. Okay, this is this is real A B C stuff. Yeah. 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 Okay. All right. Uh let's see, where I don't I didn't get to the end of my announcement, I'll tell you. Okay. Uh, there will be a Kickstarter for uh pieces of Turtle Eight, the twenty five dollar US edition. Uh, in February or March of 2022. The only thing different with that edition is that it will say $25 U.S. on the front instead of $25 Canadian. Ah, savings. I mention that uh, the Canadian dollar has been going kind of up and down the last little while, but uh, uh, today cashing a, uh, a U.S. check which means the bank was buying Canadian dollars. It was uh, 23 cents on the dollar. So you're talking about pieces of Turtles 8, the Swordfish edition with $25 Canadian on the front of it, uh, be about $18 US. And again, the price of the postage is included in that. Mm, mm. That's good to know. And then I finish off with if you're still listening to me and you want one of these, what's the matter with you? Hit pause and go to CerebusDownloads.com for all the earliest books are gone. So we'll, we'll, we'll see how many people we hear from. We'll see how many of those that we sell. Um, it, it, it is just one of those... Um, this is, it's all getting so complicated in terms of the fulfillment... Mm. and how long the Kickstarters are running and uh, stuff like that, how long it takes to get a Kickstarter prepped. So I thought, I want to go back to the fan team day where, as I say on the inside front cover of this, if Gene Day could see the capability that, uh, that we've got now, just with um, a basic laptop and printer, it's like, uh, okay, here's all of your fonts. Uh, you want to pick uh, Aiken Bold, uh, you just click on Aiken Bold and you start typing and it comes out in Aiken Bold. You want 35 point, just put the slider up to 35 point and it'll be 35 point. If you, can, if you picture the way we used to do fanzines, which was doing like letter set and rubbing down one letter at a time from a plastic transfer sheet and cost $7 a sheet for that letter, that, that font, that size. And it's, like I said, Gene would have thought that he died and went to heaven. He would have been doing a daily fancy. Because <laughs> uh, it, it would be just so easy to do. So I decided, okay, that's what I'm going to do this time is uh, I'm just going to type the stuff um, Paste, uh, paste it up with two-sided tape and then later started using rubber cement just like back in the old days and then give that to Alfonso. Here's your originals uh, for this 16-page uh, fanzine plus, uh, plus covers. Uh, print me out a proof. And uh, he had a proof ready to go the following week. So uh, now we're at the point of Alfonso is going to be offering a uh, printer's proof. I don't know if he's uh, all ready to do that yet, but uh, I thought, well, instead of me selling printer's proof, it's like uh, Alfonso is like all the rest of us, just trying to keep his head above water. Yeah. Uh, here in the COVID-19 nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yep. It, and then I'm going like, well, okay, how much could you charge for a printer's proof of, uh, of uh, pieces of 
marital day. And it's like I'm, I'm mulling that over and going back and forth. And I go, well, if, if Alfonso's doing it, Alfonso, you charge for it. It's your problem if now. It makes, if it makes a lot of money, yeah, uh, our dark battle line will take a cut. And thank you very much. <laughs> but if you do like uh, 10 of them and you charge $20 each, well, you keep the 200 It'll you know help pay the phone bill or, or whatever it is that, that you've got to pay. Mm-hmm. Um, if you charge $100 for each, printers prove, and you sell 5,000 of them, yeah, then definitely I want to cut. But, uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think we're in any danger of that happening. But uh, it's, it's trying to get as far back to the original concept of DIY, do it yourself, uh, where it is. You know, it's just me and Alfonso, and um, as soon as it's ready to go, um, from Thursday to Thursday, he can he can print them, um, gives them to Rolly. Rolly brings them back to Camp David. He wraps them, packages them, and a week later, they're in everybody's mailbox. So that, that's that's pretty quick fulfillment compared to like other comics creators who might have kickstarters and might start one year and you don't get fulfillment until months later. Have you uh, have you participated in those? Have you had? Uh, um, Really like long experience. Uh, I would. Well, I won't name names because he he is a uh, uh, a mutual uh, associate of ours. Um, you know, COVID hit, and um, there were there were how, how should I say it? Strange parallels in the universe. And I'll, I'll I'll leave it at that. And so, okay, I don't know if you got that or not, but um, it um, I mean I but I eventually got it. Um, I got, I got what I got. I, I, I ordered, I put, I pledged in, I think September of 2019. And I think I got it in the spring of 2021. Um, but again, wow. yeah, it was a long time, but I mean, to be fair, um, it, the, the, the work was like a jam session. It just wasn't. Uh, one or two or three creators. It was it was numerous creators. So I, I think, I think right. you're, the, you're only as fast as your slowest creator that way. Yeah. So I I and and I got and what I got was in pristine condition, and I got what I what I wanted. I got some original art too. So it was it was it was still a good deal in my opinion, even though I, I waited uh, much longer than I anticipated. And to be fair too, the creator also um, they it. You know, the creator kept us in the loop. Those who who pledged to that Kickstarter, so they 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 made sure that we knew that you know I, I know that we're running behind, but we're going to do our best to make sure we get this to you. We haven't forgotten. So um, you know, and I think yeah, people, that's good. yeah, people are pretty forgiving. If you if you tell them the bad news up front, they're more than likely going to be appreciative and cooperative with you. Is when you don't tell them the bad news up front is when trouble starts, in my opinion. Right, right, yes, exactly. Yeah, I'm, I'm sort of try, trying to do the other direction. It's uh, what's the absolute fastest that we can do this from conception to when the finished copy is in your mailbox. Uh, again, if, if Gene Day could see all of the uh, levers at the command of creators in... Uh, in 2022, it would be why aren't you why aren't you doing this on a daily basis? Why aren't you, doing, <laughs> uh, you know, a weekly comic book um, when the only way to get anything from anywhere to anywhere was by surface mail. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. It was uh, okay. Well, it's baked in, so you just have to have to factor that into everything that you're doing, but. Uh, the way we've got it now, yeah, I'm gonna. I, I haven't done anything since the Spawn Ten Halloween edition, but that had a real good um, experiential texture to it. Of yeah, I think we want to do more of these, uh, but we definitely want to bring the price down. I mean, 
that was $75 because I'm going, I've never done this before and I have no idea what could possibly go wrong. And um, not that many of them went wrong, but the ones that did go wrong where uh, they got damaged copies either because of uh, the packaging not being good or um, uh, Alfonso wasn't uh, uh, checking the, the printing carefully enough and Rolly wasn't checking the printing carefully enough. By the time they had mailed it back and I'm, re I'm reimbursing them for the cost of sending it back and then printing a replacement copy and then paying to uh, mail that to them again, there were, there were about uh, 10 or 12 copies that did end up costing about $60. So it's like, okay, I didn't lose money on them, but uh, we know a lot more about what we're doing now. And uh, Roly is training himself to be uh, far more obsessive about condition and uh, Alfonso's being far more obsessive about condition because those are the people that you're selling to. Mm. You can't have a color break or um, uh, a misformed staple or anything like that because if they're um, paying $25, well, $25 Canadian, but it's still mm -hmm. still $25 yeah. um, for a comic book, uh, they, they need to get an absolute pristine mint copy uh, exactly exactly the way that they want it. Yeah, I mean, that's, 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 that's totally, yeah, it's totally reasonable. I think if you're a customer, you'd be paying that amount of money, you should get that, that kind of quality, you know, you, you want to get what you pay for, you know? Right, right. And you're buying the rarity. It's mm -hmm. like, the, we have, I don't know if this is the most rare that service will ever get. We're possibly still uh, plumbing the depths of that, but, uh, that's definitely one of the one of the things that I'm uh, one of the hot buttons that I'm leaning on is if I'm going to do ultra rare things for the ultra devoted Cerebus fan, uh, now's the time to do them. Mm -hmm. So that's wasted almost 25 minutes where I'm supposed to be answering questions. I, I think we're good. I have 22 minutes on my recorder, so I think I think we're oh, good. Yeah, yeah. Okay.